Ray Queen here, life after money. I always feel a twit saying that. <laughs> um, I thought I would give you a, a catch up on my latest artwork, which I finished about a week ago, that one, um, and talk you through it a little bit. Um, I started doing these assemblages, that's what it's called, an assemblage where you get a box and you put lots of bits and bobs in and stick it all down and paint it. Um, so I've done two smaller ones of these and now I'm doing a big one. So the small ones you might have seen before, just ordinary boxes, actually it was a case, it was one case which I split into two. So these are the smaller ones I've done. Um, and I want you to go bigger. So I've done a bigger one, 20 inches by 29 inches, something like that. Now, I had an idea in my mind of what, I always have an idea when I start these things about what I might want to achieve, what I m might think it might end up as what it might finish up as. So I have a little sort of picture in my mind there. And I thought, well, I'll go with the black again. Um, but this time I'll assemble the parts in some kind of order. Um, these are just like random parts just stuck on. Um, I mean, I have arranged them in, in a particular order, but I thought I like flowers, I like flower shapes, so I've used all kinds of bits and bobs to make some kinds of flower shapes. Do you know it's very hard to describe exactly what this is. <laughs> um, so really it's better that you see it, you actually see it. Now um, it started off black so the frame is, it's, it was a plain picture frame. It didn't have a back on it, so I just nailed the back to it. And so it ends up really like a big tray. And uh, then what I did was paint it all over black. Now I mixed black paint and uh, PV, P, PVU glue. That's right. So I covered it all in that. You're supposed to use gesso gesso paint or I haven't got any of that anyway so so uh, black acrylic with PVA and then you need to add texture so cut up small pieces of fabric lace anything just to stick it on with the paint um, and then I started collecting bits and pieces you know broken kids toys, bottle tops, plastic things, a few bits of metal there, bits of jewellery there. Um, I'll, tell, I'll give you a close up so you can see what's on it. It took around about, um, it took around about five, six weeks to make. But it's not something I can rush because I have to keep going back to it. I have to put it to one side and then have another look and work out how can I make it better and uh, is it finished or not finished so so it's there in my room and I see it every day and ideas come into my head then you know I just think of oh yeah I know what it means what it needs what it's about what what I should do next um, so yeah, it takes takes me a while to get my head around it. I, you, you know, you, you can't just rattle these things off quick. And nor would I want to anyway, because it's the actual thought process that goes into it. And it's the, it's the idea of, and then how to um, construct the parts. So I make the small parts first. And then when I think I've got enough, I arrange it and, and then start sticking down. Um, I use a hot glue gun for sticking down um, because it's instant. 
and it sticks very very well and um, then when it's all stuck down I look at it again and think well there's not enough I need to find more little bits and pieces to stick on so I have another root in the box of rubbish and uh, pick out a few more stick them on um, paint as I go and um, although I think with the other ones I just stuck them down and painted when I finished sticking them down but with this one I have painted all the bits and bobs as I go along now I wanted it black I wanted the main uh, black uh, and with bits of red and bits of gold and that was it I don't didn't want any more color and uh, so that's how it went and then I thought you know it could be more interesting it's a little bit boring and so what I did was I found some coins and uh, I've got a, a big box of old coins that I've collected on my travels you know out of date coins and so I stuck coins on there as well then painted over it again and I thought now black is too black and it gave me the idea then of the title the title is hidden treasure because I stuck the coins on it's hidden treasure so then I thought well what if this piece were stored in an attic for 500 years and forgotten about and then one day somebody came across it and oh wow that's interesting isn't it so what I wanted to do was to make it look dusty make it look dirty as if it has been um, put away somewhere and then you know eventually found and brought out so I got all kinds of uh, shades of acrylic paint and um, very lightly with a brush not loads because uh, you know I wanted it to still look dark black uh, but not pitch black and uh, but I wanted to make it look scruffy um, you know and old so a, a brush where the bristles are like all over the place so and a little dab here and a dab there I mean it did actually take quite a lot of, of messing about with <laughs> titivating about with this with bristly brush and and so I was backwards and forwards and anyway so this is what it's ended up like and I'm quite pleased with it actually I've shown it to a few people and they think it's absolutely amazing I put it on my blog um, and you know when I finished it I thought to myself normally I would think when I finished something I would think yeah that's, that's quite nice actually yeah it looks good um, but with this one something said to me that's flipping amazing that is <laughs> and I don't know how I did it but it, it's here now so um, yeah I thought if I saw that in a gallery you know amongst lots of other stuff I would be immediately drawn to it because it's just my type of thing um, and it's, it looks complicated it looks complex and when you get up close to it you can see all the little individual components as I call them um, you know so I like art with a lot of interest you know um, but I'm not a fan of just splodges of paint on a canvas because that doesn't say anything to me at all um, but if it looks like if it looks like the artist has put a lot of effort into making something then I'm immediately attracted to it you know because I'm I appreciate the time it takes and the effort it takes to, to put together a complicated piece um, so yeah, this kind of art is I would I would love to see that in a gallery it may be in a gallery some point in the future um, so I don't know what's going to happen but if you want to come a bit closer the light in here is not that good um, but we'll we'll just have to manage um, it is hanging 
Um, I've put wires across the back, in fact two wires across the back that join in the middle so that it, because it is a bit heavy. Um, but I, I try to keep the weight down with using quite a lot of plastic. But um, anyway, it's, uh, I'll, I'll take you closer, then you can have a look. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you going on a trip? You're moving. Right, let me try not to judder this camera. Try not to shake you about, right? So, I'll try and point a few things out to you. Uh, the centerpiece there, that was that was what I put on first. That is um, beer bottle tops. And uh, those little roses or buttons I've stuck in the middle of them. And they're all stuck onto a CD. Um, I could have actually stuck them on one at a time and placed them, but it was far easier to um, make that piece up first and then just plonk it down. So, yeah. And I took apart zips. I've got quite a lot of um, six inch black zips. Got them from the scrap store. Um, for virtually nothing so I cut them apart strip them into two pieces and stitch along I'm trying to keep it in focus here stitch along the one edge and pull it tight and make it curly and then I put a red bead on it's the, at the moment I'm having to reach up because it's taller than me so I do like that zippy corner yep so there's beads a little plastic top with some beads in um, a lot of these leaves are from um, artificial flowers that I've taken apart and uh, this thing here there's two of these this was parts from a, a child's game a little plastic kiddies game and um, this these are spongy things so I they were in a long piece so I cut them down into small pieces one thing I did find when you stick in spongy things with the hot glue gun you have to be quick because the hot glue melts it <laughs> but um, yeah there's a smaller version of that as well that's just stuck on a, a, a plastic lid so these little red flowers um, they're from Christmas tree lights and I've just painted them with red nail varnish as I've done the red nail varnish is very handy if you've got a, a few bits and bobs so let's have a look that's a, a, a draft you know a game of drafts black and white drafts with a, a child's toy on it again and there's the pulls for the zips stuck onto a plastic lid and then more Christmas tree lights stuck onto another plastic lid and another one of those and the spoons I wanted to put wooden spoons on um, and these red flowers here they're plastic they're part of a belt so I take apart jewelry um, and belts and these beads are these beads are wooden beads but what I had to do with that, I didn't stick them on one at a time. I threaded them first and then I made a collar for them, which you can't see because it's underneath there. So I made the collar shape and then stitched them onto that in leather. So they're all stitched on in leather first and then stick that down and then stick the spoon on top of it. So and this is a bit of a gold bling that you can buy Pro this is probably the only part of it that I did buy and uh, it's uh, you buy it on a, a wide strip so it's about a pound from a pound shop so I've just wrapped the, the spoons in that and then of course there's the plastic spoons and the more flowers and up the side and across the top we've got the string of pearls which of course they're all now painted and dirtied up <laughs> the uh, I'm going a bit blurry here um, bark real bark tree bark 
someone I know does will turn in and I scrounged a bag of tree bark from him about oh, maybe two years ago or something so I'm, you know I find a use for things eventually so there's some buttons on there this again is like children's toys these are little plastic hands actually <laughs> taken apart and then stuck in a circle to give the impression of a flower and these this is um, plastic flowers take apart plastic flowers and more plastic flowers and then of course that's uh, I think that's part of a brooch there you go so these here that that and that are again plastic toys and there's some more bark there you can see how I put the texture on the side with any old bits of scrappy lace I tried to sign this actually but it's not come out very well I've got to uh, go over it again my name's there somewhere <laughs> so more bark um, plastic tree decorations Christmas decorations and of course the coins and uh, couple of these little things these are like little collars that you put over a tall candle when it's on the holder a Christmas decoration again so I think I've covered it all now uh, there you go oh I did I did wrap some wire see this tall thing that's going right up through and it then it branches out that way and it branches out that way I thought it might need some way of communicating that this is all joined and part of it rather than just random stuff stuck on there has to be something to connect um, the parts so so that's it it's a pretend little branch <laughs> so there you are I'm really pleased with that actually well yeah I suppose I'm chuffed actually <laughs> oh dear again a little bit of I've seen that Chris that was off a of Christmas Christmas wreaths I find Christmas wreaths and take them apart and and rescue any bits that can be used again I'm a magnet for junk and rubbish I can't help it right I'll just put you in the holder for a second have you seen my holder by the way I don't have a tripod <laughs> I've got a step ladder and a stool and a bit of polystyrene that's my tripod whoops I hope I didn't jerk you around too much then so that is now finished it's a bit of a relief actually when I did finish it because I'm like going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards you know what else can I do to it you know how can I make it better but there does come a point where you've just got to say that's it I can't do any more <laughs> so but I'm, it's had a good response and people have, you know, have said how really good it is so that'll do so I've moved on now and I'm making a few smaller things now I like to keep chopping and changing so now I'm doing some I'm weaving some well not weaving actually but making baskets out of rope and wool and fabric so like small baskets you know so I'll maybe do a video about that but um, but yeah so this is keeping me busy I mean if I didn't have all this arts and crafts going on you know I it would be very bored but, uh, but I'm not I'm okay <laughs> but we should be able to go out um, a bit further afield soon I think we can um, I'm planning on a few trips away but we just have to take it one day at a time and see how it goes and see what we're allowed to do I'm not going to be rushing off um, to join millions of other people so I'm going to be picking my places to visit um, but I'll let you know when I go out <laughs> anyway me Queen here thanks for popping in and uh, we'll catch up again another time bye